good morning children sai ram today we are going to start new chapter that is chapter number 14 division okay you have learned right third standard how to do divide sums so we are going to continue division in fourth standard now now before we start you have to remember that why when we do division okay we have to perform division while making equal parts or distribution and also to find the value of one from many when you have to find the value of one thing that time we use this operation of division now we are going to start with word problem first now see first question if 4 kg of wheat cost rupees 92 what is the cost of 1 kg of wheat now here what is given here the cost of given and you have to find the cost of 1 kg of wheat okay so now first we have to write the statement and then we will do the working now what will be the first statement yes cost of 4 kg of wheat how much is the cost rupees 92 okay cost of 4 kg of wheat is rupees 92 what will be the second statement we have to find out cost of 1 kg of wheat so what you are going to do yes 92 divide by 4 okay that is the sign of divide 92 divide by 4 now we are going to do the division now first you have to draw the line of divide how you are going to do the division inside what which number will come bigger number will come inside that is 92 divide by 4 so 4 will come out now here dividend is 92 and divisor is what 4 so now we are going to start the sum now you have to take one one number first okay so we will take 9 first now which number is less than 9 in table of 4 you know table of 4 so which number you will take 4 ones are 8 so 8 is smaller than 9 so you will write 2 up as a quotient and 8 down now you are going to draw the line put the sign of minus and now we, we you are going to do subtraction okay 9 minus 8 is how much 1 now you will bring the second number down that is you will bring 2 down so you will draw the arrow bring two down now so how much you get 12 now you have again you have to say table of four in table of four when you get 12 four threes are so you will write three up and down you will write 12 now you will draw one line you will put the sign of minus now you will do subtraction 2 minus 2 is how much 0 1 minus 1 Zero. Now, how much answer you get? Twenty-three. Okay. Now you have to write answer statement. Now, how you are going to write answer statement? Yes. The cost of one kg wheat is how much? Rupees twenty-three. Okay. The cost of one kg wheat is rupees twenty-three. Now we will do second sum. If the total cost of three compass boxes is rupees ninety, what is the cost of one compass? Now here the cost of three compass boxes is given. Okay, you have to find the cost of one compass box. Okay, so how you are going to do? First, you will write the statement. So what will be the first statement? Yes, cost of Three compass box. How much is the cost of three compass box? Rupees ninety. Okay. Now we have to write the second statement. What will be the second statement? Cost of one compass box. We have to find. So what you are going to do? Yes, ninety divided by three. Again, you are going to write ninety divided by three with the divide sign. Now you are going to do division. So you will draw the line. You will write ninety inside. Third three will come out. And now you have to say table of three. In table of three, you will take okay. 
you will take 9 first. So when you get 9 in table of 3. So you have to say table of 3. 3 ones are 3. 3 twos are 6. 3 threes are 9. So 3 will go up. 9 will come down. Okay. Now you will draw the line. Put the sign of minus. Now 9 minus 9 is how much? 0. Okay. Now next number is what? 0. You have to bring that 0 also down. Now in table of 3, when you get 0, when you multiply 3 by 0. So 3 zeros are 0. So you will write 0 up and 0 down. Now you will write, draw the line, put the sign of minus. Now 0 minus 0 is how much? 0. So what is your answer? 30. Okay. Now you have to write answer statement. Okay. You bring that 0 also down. Now write answer statement. The cost of one compost box is how much? The cost of one compost box is rupees 30. Okay. Answer is how much? Rupees 30. 30. Okay, see next question. Number 3. There are 87 beads. How many necklaces of 9 beads each can be made and how many beads will be left over? So, now you have to write the statement first. Let us see the first statement. Yes, number of beads in one necklace. How many beads are used in one necklace? How many beads are there in one necklace? Nine beads. Okay. Now, what will be the second statement? Yes, number of necklaces made using 87 beads. How many total beads are there? 87. So, how many necklaces can be made using 87 beads? Equal to what you are going to write? 87 divided by 9. Okay. And now you are going to do the working. So, you will draw the line. 87 you will write inside. It will be out. Now, again you are going to take one number. Now, here 8 is small, 9 is big. You cannot divide. Okay. So, what you have to do? You will take first 0. So, you will write 9 zeros are 0. Then draw the line. Put the sign of minus. Now, 8 minus 0 is how much? 8. Now, you can bring 7 down. Now, you have to say table of 9. In table of 9, which number will come which is less than 87? So, you have to say table of 9 and find out. Okay, 9, oh, sorry, table of 9, 9 ones are 9, 9 twos are 18, 9 threes are 27, 9 fours are 36, 9 fives are 45, 9 six are 54, 9 sevens are 63, 9 eights are 72, 9 nines are 81. If you take 9 tens, it will become 90. So you cannot take 90 because 90 is bigger than 87. So you have to take less number. So which number you will take? 9 nines are 81. So you will write 81 down. Now you will draw the line. Put the sign of minus. 7 minus 1 is how much? 6. 8 minus 8? 0. So here you have got quotient and remainder. 9 is quotient and 6 is remainder. Now how you are going to write the answer children? See your answer statement. So, 9 necklaces can be made out of how much? It is out of 87 beads. How many beads? 11 beads. And how many beads will be left? 6 beads will be left over. So, your answer is this way. 9 necklaces can be made and 6 beads will be left over. Now, we will see next question. If 49 seedlings are to be planted in a garden in rows of 7 saplings each, how many such rows will be made? Okay. Now here, if 49 seedlings are to be planted in a garden in rows of 7 saplings each, 
there are seven saplings in each row and how many seedlings are there 49 so how many rows you will be you will uh, you can make it out of 49 seedlings so that we have to find out so let us write the first statement so what will be the first statement number of saplings in one row how many saplings are there in one row seven okay so what will be the second statement yes number of rows made of 49 saplings so how many rows you can made of 49 saplings we have to find out so what you will write 49 divided by 7 now you are going to do working so you will draw the line 49 you will write inside 7 you will write out okay now here also you can take one number first 4 is smaller than 7 so what you will do 7 zeros are 0 put the sign draw the line put the sign of minus now you will bring 4 down 4 minus 0 4 now next number is 9 bring 9 down now you have to see uh, see in table of 7 when you get 49. So you have to see a table of 7. What is the answer? 7 7 is 49. So you will write 7 up. 49 down. And then you will minus. Draw the line minus. 9 minus 9 0. 4 minus 4 0. So what is your answer? 7. So now how you are going to write the answer statement? Yes. Seven rows will be made to plant saplings. Okay. How many rows will be made? Seven rows will be made to plant saplings. So okay children. So we have finished one exercise here. Thank you.